Some filter sampling methods recommend a field stabilization step, or desorption, immediately after collection. This video will explain the general technique used for field stabilization. Prepare to do the stabilization in an area free of sample contaminants. These are the items you will need. Sample cassettes, including a field blank, laboratory supplied vials, one per sample, permanent marker, cutting tool, knife, scalpel, or box cutter, cassette opener, a screwdriver, coin, or other flat tool, paper clip or similar thin wire, tweezers or forceps, parafilm seal or Ziploc bag, one per sample vial, and disposable gloves. If you have never done this before, we recommend ordering an extra kit from the laboratory to practice. Start by labeling each vial with the sample ID using a permanent marker. Put on new gloves before opening the cassette. Remove the plug from the cassette outlet and cut the cassette tape at the bottom joint with a cutting tool or peel off the tape. Open the vial. Using a screwdriver or a coin, open the plastic cassette and separate the bottom piece that contains the filter and support pad. Put the top section aside and adjust the wire. Insert the wire up through the bottom outlet of the cassette, carefully lifting the support pad. When the edge of the support pad is above the cassette rim, use the tweezers to peel the filter from the pad. Grip only the edge of the filter to avoid disturbing the sample surface. Also, take care not to crumple the filter. Tuck the filter into the desorption vial, laying it flat against the side. Close the vial and tighten the cap. If the vial contains solution, check for leaks while shaking the vial until the filter is completely dampened. Note that the support pad remains in the cassette and can be discarded. Seal the vial with parafilm over the cap and or place each vial into a Ziploc bag. If stabilizing multiple samples, you can reduce the chance of cross-contamination by using new gloves and properly clean tweezers for each sample. Once all samples are complete, disposable items such as gloves, empty cassettes, and backup pads are discarded in the normal trash. Any extra solution vials must be disposed of according to regulations appropriate for the chemical agent. You can also return them to the laboratory clearly marked as unused. Lastly, complete the laboratory request form, also called the chain of custody, and send the samples to the laboratory. If shipping chemical solutions, talk to the laboratory about appropriate shipping labels. Remember, consult with the laboratory or review the sampling method for details about media and chemical agents. Consider ordering one extra set of media for practice Review safety considerations for handling any chemicals.